Welcome to the Mischief, I'm Valen, and this is Zookeeper, one of three mod packs I'm taking a look at today, and I'm expecting you guys, after you've checked out all three videos, to give me a vote as to what you think you would like to see me play next as a Let's Play series. Now, Zookeeper here, I actually know the mod pack maker, that's Gentleman Canoe, and uh, that person is, uh, or has been, in my community for some time. And uh, this has really been interesting to me. I wanted to check it out. You, you are awesome. That is, yes, it is true. So we're going to try this out. What is Zookeeper? Zookeeper is a very open world. I am going to keep cheats on, I always do, for any Let's Play series, because you never know when there's going to be some kind of glitch or bug. But uh, let's continue on. You can choose default. Uh, there's also another one in here. Ar archipelago if you're interested those are a series of islands which is pretty cool uh, but we're going to use mischief of mice for the seed and we're going to call this the same thing as well mischief of mice look at that no typos i must be feeling better now uh, so let's create the new world what is zookeeper zookeeper is open-ended it is not designed to have like a lot of quests for you to follow or anything like that Sure, you can always create your own and whatnot, but it's rather sandboxy, open world, and it's created to be more of a, a way that, uh, at least the theme of it, is to allow you to create your own zoo or, uh, well, even even out in nature if you want. You can collect things and so on, but it, it does have some threat to it. There is a lot of non-threat, and you start off with a ton of resources to get you going as well. So first, I'm going to get this loaded in. And I'll be back once this is done. All right, and as you can see, my map has now finished loading. Uh, I do have a lot going on here. It, it's a very pretty area. Oh, got to be careful of these uh, Venus flytraps, though. They will hurt you. I remember those from playing Subtech. Uh, but let's see what we've got. We've got... Actually, let me get up to a little bit more uh, higher perspective here. Let's climb up here. And uh, I think if we can get up top, then I can start looking through all the goodies that I have in my bag. So once I've climbed up here, I'll be back in another moment. All right, here we are at the top, more or less, of this hill. It's a pretty big place. Let's see if I can actually get up a little bit higher. Uh oh, I think I can still get higher still. There we go. Now we're talking. Maybe I can get over here. Yes. Break one more. There we go. Oh, there's a swamp over here. We are currently in Royal Forest Hills. There's some kind of... Uh, coniferous forest over there all sorts of uh, really pretty stuff and this is just one of the biomes uh in here so let's let, let's see i've got a ton of stuff in here i've got doggy charm i've got a wallet uh which i think i can put some money in there we go i've got a total of 128 dollars that's great uh i have some neptune's bounty items from aquaculture interesting let's open these and see what kind of stuff i get i got a sword and a sword oh <laughs> okay so I am very well armor, armed at this point. Put one in one arm, each arm if I want, or each hand. Therefore, there we go, dual wielding. Uh, so let's let's look at the Zookeeper book. Yes, it does have waystones in it. This will teleport you back. You can actually set down a waystone. You start off with a sleeping bag as well as a monster ball. You can throw this at a living entity to capture it. That is the whole point of this, at least, uh, so that you can create your own type of zoo uh, if you so desire but let's open it up so does not have a quest line this is not a mod pack designed for beating it is a sandbox mod pack and i invite you to bring your creativity with you as you play the pack the goal of this pack is to build to explore to create and to have fun so yeah basically you can just play this as long as you want for, for the most part but let's let's click in here and check out the basics JEI is in here, of course, light grid overlay, so you can see the different, uh, you know, lighting textures. Uh, additional controls are in there, but it tells you about each of the mods in the pack, which I think is appropriate since this is kind of a, a first look style uh, video. We've got uh, cooking with blockheads, which if you're not familiar with that, it's an excellent way of being able to make all sorts of foods very easily and uh, immersively, if you will. Uh, we've got birds foods, which adds in a whole bunch of different kinds of foods in it. Getting places, uh, we've got your waystones mod in here. If you're not familiar with it, in towns, these will automatically generate, typically. Uh, you can click on them and then teleport back and forth, usually with some kind of XP cost if they're too far away. Uh, otherwise, you can use your warp stone to at least teleport back to your home stone that you wanted, or, or any of the others if you want. 
Uh, then you've got the wings mod. As many of you know, it's my favorite mod. Uh, it allows you to fly around, and it's uh, very, very nice. Just convenient, cool, at the cost of food. Lots of food. And then, of course, Exotic Birds is in here. Uh, getting resources. There are many ways to acquire the resources you will need to build your zoo. Besides exploring the world and collecting items, you can fish or automatically fish for some amazing loot. Mining and farming is also fruitful. Some mob drops are, uh, some mobs drop some awesome loot too. You'll usually find there's at least a couple of ways to get any of the resources used in crafting with Zookeeper. Sources tell me the pack is even playable in peaceful mode, though a few mobs may not be available. This is not aimed to be a grindy or heavily directed pack. As you can tell, you start off with a ton of stuff tip you can enchant your axe with lumbering to chop down an entire tree in a single chop thank you very much for that and your pickaxe with veining so that you can dig entire veins of ores at once thank you very much for that as well there are many ways to automate resource collection too searching through jei will reward you greatly let's continue on we've got getting organized there is bigger chest you can change multiple pages and stuff so multi-page chest is probably a great place to start they can hold huge amounts of items. We'll link up with your simple storage network, which is in here. Storage drawers is in here as well. And of course, simple storage network, as I was saying there. Uh, there are some links for some videos in here that should help you. Help you. Little Tiles is in here. If you're not familiar with Little Tiles, it's like uh, an expanded version of Chisels and Bits. I did a series on that, and I uh, recommend you check it out. The Nether has recently been disabled in the development of this pack. It just did not work out, so therefore it was removed. Uh, the Zookeeper Adoption Center, you can tame animals. Uh, there's better animals. There's uh, foxhounds, butterflies, and so on. You can control some of them using the wands of the ages, like uh, or the wands that are available in here. This one here will prevent baby mobs from ever growing up. This one will uh, encourage them to follow you like a pet. This one will mute the mob for good. <laughs> I'm sure many people would like that one. Uh, there's a wand of enfeeblement. I'll enchant a hostile mob to deal zero melee damage and reduce its follow range, which can be helpful. Then there's the wand of pacification, which will just turn a hostile mob friendly. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and then the wand of immolation will grant fire resistance to a mob, but it will also be set on fire permanently. So, yeah. <laughs> and they'll spawn naturally in different treasure chests and so on. You can breed animals. There's quark parrot eggs and stuff. Uh, you've got familiar fauna, which, you know, you've got some different ways that you can uh, breed these, get them, and so on. It tells you all about the different kinds of ways that you can uh, breed them in here. Zoo and wild animals, exotic birds, doggy talents. As you can see, I started with one on my hop bar. I also have a whistle, so I can tell it what to do and so on. Uh, click on your die, and this tells you a little bit about it. Uh, moving on, I've got little tiles. Hey, look, there's a, a link to a Mr. For Mice uh, playlist. Uh, might want to check that out. But let's continue on. <laughs> We've got transferring power. We've got flux networks. It's a really good one as well. Uh, and then, of course, you can upgrade things. And thermal can be upgraded using an upgrade kit or conversion kit. Inventory. Personal inventory can be extended with the use of satchels, which is, this is just like your, your basic vanilla plus satchels, which there's another link uh, to, of course, my channel. But still, it is uh, very useful. I, I do like this mod a lot. Building gadgets. That's the one that Direwolf20 made. And there's a wiki link as well, which can help you out. Then there's custom recipes that they made. This guidebook, which I've currently got you start out with, but you can remake it if you want with just a couple of books. Is an animal adoption center which allows you to purchase all of the animals available in the entire pack. So if you don't really want to just go crazy exploring everywhere or you're having trouble finding that one critter that you want, this is one way to get it. Of course, name tags. They're very easy to craft in here. Nothing really complex. Uh, you can change fur or hide to leather. There's wool to string and you can make enchanted books. Uh, just including mending, unbreaking, veining, and lumbering in the crafting table. Now look at that. Yeah, block of iron. Enchanted book. Nice. All right, tips. Mobs can be used, or can be picked up using a cyclic monster ball. Heart container items increase your health permanently. Oh, nice. Crouch, right-click with a mending tool. will use your accumulated XP to repair that specific tool. Oh, such a good use. Currency mod includes an exchange machine and a vending machine to sell items to other players. The coins and notes can be crafted onto different de denominations. So you can definitely play this on a server and ex uh, trade with others for uh, different items or critters or things like that. Or excavation is not in the pack, but veining and lumbering enchantments are. Many enchanted books can be crafted. Eggshells work as bone meal sometimes. Dungeon finder works like the ender eye but finds the closest spawner. Or will spawn in the nether and the end. But, uh, of course, the, the nether is disabled. 
The uncrafter will break most crafted items into its base ingredients. Cyclic water candle acts like a mob spawn. There's just so much, so much in here. Uh, I'm just going to, you you can, you could read this stuff too. And there's the credits, which a bunch of these people I've seen in my community as well. So it's good to see that they're uh, all in here as well. Thank you, gentlemen, Ganu, for a, a really cool pack. But let's, let's take a look at what we can do here. Uh, you also start off, thankfully, with some baked potatoes. As I am always in need of that. And the sun is nearing its setting already. But I, I'm kind of thinking we head east. As that seems like a pretty good direction. I like how that hill over there looks. Plus it's a really good distance down. And along the way, we could use our sleeping bag to just take a quick snooze in our explorations. Because I don't like uh, staying at the spawn area. Because, you know, it, it could easily lead to just... Uh, chunk loading issues if there's a bunch of critters nearby or something but we're gonna run over this way and as soon as it yeah i can start seeing the stars now so let's try clicking on the ground i automatically sleep yes i love the comforts mod it is really really comfortable all right well let's keep going over here it's a really pretty biome i do have to say let's put these uh dual wielding the weapon no you you can't dual wield <laughs> I have them equipped, so it looks like I'm dual wielding, but I'm not. I'm not. You can only still swipe with one. Though, for all I know, the dual wielding mod could be potentially installed. I'm pretty sure that it's not. So let's keep going over here. And, oh, I just got myself stuck in a dead end. And see if we can find, oh, an even brighter area. This looks nice. This looks like a really good, oh, wow. Royal Forest Hills into... What is this? Blossom Forest Hills. Holy crud. This really spices up these birch trees, I tell you what. And look at all the... Oh, there's a woodpecker. Oh, jeez. Starry. <laughs> and a hummingbird flying around. Is it a hummingbird? It kind of looks like one. Okay, it's gone. <laughs> Maybe that was another woodpecker. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, the pack is just beautiful. And it, what we could easily do is just go with the whole theme of the pack. Start building like my own little oh wow my own house maybe up there overlooking the rest of this and then we could have the uh the the zoo around here let's let's try getting up there and see what uh what it all looks like when we look back down ha ah, finally i got all the way up to the top that that took a bit of doing because uh, this is a very steep area to get to. I'm, I might actually have to create something a little bit more, um, well, easier access. Uh, I can always start with some kind of stairway, but look at this. I mean, the the forests are absolutely gorgeous in this mod pack. I tell you what. And uh, what is this plants? Ferdinand's flowers. Oh, nice. We've got the flower forest over here. What about over on this side? This just looks absolutely gorgeous. Oh, oh, and I see some kind of large building over there. Maybe, maybe we take over that place. I don't know. That looks pretty darn cool to me. Um, all right, I'm going to venture my way over that way now that I just finally got up here. <laughs> and uh, see what we can find over there for a little bit of an explore. All right, so it's rather, I don't know, not as pretty over here. But then again, you, you might be able to get a nice view out over there. This could just be like a lookout or something, but either way, I hear mobs inside. What is it? Oh, Mr. Crayfish Furniture Mod is in here. Nice. Okay. I don't see any mobs so far. Oh, we've got a whole kitchen setup going on in here. Things did not exactly face forward, but that's cool. Totally take all the stuff from in here. And it, it looks... Oh, there's a mob spawner right there. There. Oh, this this could be problematic. Especially since mobs are spawning right now. You know what? Maybe I go downstairs. Because <laughs> that, that was hurting a lot. I almost died. <laughs> I can just do one of these. And break the... Oh, wait. Can I... Can I, like, grab these? I don't know that I can. Let's let's find out if uh, carry-on is in here. No, it's not. Oh! <laughs> There's an oven range hood. Oh, I didn't even think about that. Alright, well, let me have a little bit more food. 
I'm going to break this so that le less skeletons spawn upstairs. <laughs> and then I'll go try and do a little bit uh, of skeleton clearing, perhaps. Maybe there's a bed up on higher levels. That would be nice. Okay, so as it turns out, there is another spawner up on top. So I do have an idea for a solution here. And that's going to be this. <laughs> and I can always just take out some of these guys here. A Zestonian skeleton? I can't. I can't actually hit this guy. I can't. Oh, wait, I should be able to. I mean, he's got arrows through here, right? Ow! Yeah, definitely can. <laughs> I think it's time that I go and get some materials that actually might benefit me here. Let's take out this regular, regular old piece of... Wait, what? Oh, the iron... I forgot the iron wall lamp was here. This is actually going to be what's keeping it, keeping things from spawning downstairs. So maybe I put that back up. I take this with me. I think some of these just need to be like turned around. Like this is supposed to be facing that way. That makes more sense. Yeah, that iron wall lamp's pretty good, but mm, I think it's just going to be in the way as it is. There we go. So I've got a little bit to work with. I need to keep on building my food up. Let's start making some stuff, shall we? Uh, start off with crafting table. That'd probably be a good idea. Can I actually get back up here? There aren't any mobs in here, are there? Well, none that I see at least. Actually, here, let me uh, place this down. I can then make some sticks and make my usual hatchet to speed things along with chopping wood a little bit. And I think that shouldn't let anybody down. No, it won't. All right, good. And I know that I've got an opening in the floor, but that's okay. I can fix that real easy. Let me just take care of this and place this down. There we go. And this, I think, is supposed to be facing this other way as well. <laughs> it's bibliocraft. Can I actually... Oh, it's got all sorts of books in it. Okay, that's kind of cool. I need a pick. Um, but first I need wood. So let me grab some of this and I should probably be making, oh, why did I just do that? I don't even know. Can I remake those into planks? Or, yes, I can. Okay, good. This is a good start. There we go. Wooden pick. And you know, if I put this down outside or in this area, I think that would be very appropriate. I could put this right in the middle, right here, and we'll just call this home. Yeah, it's global, sure. Why not? <laughs> so now, I could feasibly use this to teleport to this. <laughs> That's assuming that I don't die myself. Uh, let's turn F7 back off. So there's no lights in here. All these cabinets need to be rearranged. But this is a really good area to start with. That's for certain. That's a, a bin. I could put pink clover in there. I just click empty and the stuff just gets trashed. It's an oven for cooking things, so I don't even need a furnace, really? Can I put this in here and... No? No? Doesn't, doesn't quite... Do I need fuel as well? It doesn't quite work like that. Maybe I need to first uh, turn it to face me. <laughs> that, that could be a thing. Let's do this. Nobody just fell down, did they? Gosh, it sounded like they did. This thing looks cool. So I don't know that it actually will cook things like an oven then. Yeah. Yeah, it's not working. Okay. So give me that. Give me that back. <laughs> what do we got? Kitchen counter. This is a washing machine. So we could... Or some, yeah. For a dishwasher. So we can repair these different types of tools and items and whatnot in here. Provided we have soapy water. It has soapy water in it. It is full. Cool. So I maybe I can even repair my Neptunian swords and stuff. Will it fit in there? It does. Cool. All right. And I've got cabinets up here. And I still don't know what this thing's about. <laughs> I guess you could turn it on or off, but I can't really tell which one is on and which one's off. When I look at it right now, it doesn't say anything. I click on it and then it 
does. So I I don't I don't really know. You know what? Either way, it's fine. We need to get some materials. It is it's probably dark out. Yep. So let's get uh my asleep again. May not rest now. There are monsters nearby. Fair enough. Can I can I get that back, please? Are there mobs outside? There may be, but I don't see any here. Okay, never mind. I take it back. There is one, and he's about to kill me. Okay, run. Oh, God. I'm not going to make... There's two of them. They're spawning everywhere. Oh. Oh. Yeah. I, I should have I better prepared for that one. All right, well, I'll be back in a minute. All right, I found my way back. Found my gravestone, but of course it's being attacked, being guarded by a hungry zombie, and what is almost daylight here. What is, do you have a glowing bowl in your hand? That's interesting. Well, once I finish <laughs> this guy off, which may take me some time, I will then uh, open up the grave. Ow! 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 Oh, there was two of them! Crud. Death number two. Oh my gosh, we've got a koala. Okay, I also saw a sea turtle. My gosh, some of the mobs in here are just darn cute, I tell you what. Looking forward to something that's not going to try and rip my face off. Um, hopefully, but it's, oh, that's just bamboo and a pig. Okay, all right, phew. <laughs> so uh, here I am back here, daytime. It, it took me most of the night to get back here again. Of course, it was almost uh, daytime as it was. Ugh. That was a good jump, Fallon. So now, if you just break this, which it doesn't give any animation that anything is there, all the stuff will just, like, crash out of it. So you got to be aware that when that happens, your stuff's going to go everywhere. Yeah. So if your stuff is over top of a lava pit, make sure that you're prepared for that eventuality. Um, so this is going to be a, a thing to overtake, overcome as it is. But I feel that it is, either way... A good place to start. I mean, we have our own reinforced door. I've got a spot that I could make a bed. I do need to do that if I'm to continue living here. It's very dark up here. <laughs> I think we will need some way of... Um, actually, what I can do is I can take some of the wood that I have, convert that all into oak. I've got my crafting table up here. I can make a chest and empty out some stuff while I'm at it. Let's leave this downstairs, because this is where we're going to be starting off uh, anyway. Just put everything in here to start with. There we go. Take out just the things that I need for now. Some uh, tools, a weapon, keep my book and my warp stone, as well as a monster ball. You never know what you might end up running into. I feel like I should grab something while I'm out there. Oh, and a sleeping bag, that's important. Cooking for Blockhead's book. I don't think I need that at the moment. Uh, but what I'm going to try and do here... Oh, I need food. That was the other thing. Baked potatoes. Okay. Uh, is trying to get myself some stone. <laughs> That's why I was originally going outside. I should have just started uh, mining downstairs instead. Let's just do it. Because there's stone everywhere here, though. So, yeah. Well, start off with a little bit of coal. Got it. So I can now cook something at the very least. Then I can start making some tools, get a furnace, and get all that started. There we go, get myself a crafting table to start with. Put that down out here for the moment. I just broke down this, and it gives me some of these really weird looking saplings for red spruce sapling, but I don't know if it's going to make these little tiny things like this, like this one was. doesn't give me sticks, sadly, but I do see a little tiny cherry sapling up there that I can probably chop down, get some, some wood from. I wanted to keep some of my supplies inside so that I'm not just like using all the stuff that is in there. There we go. And then any saplings that drop from that are just bonus. Um, so now I should be able to get some wood from this and then make some sticks. There we go. Now I can make some better tools. Oh, finally. Would have been nice if I had gotten a Neptunium pick. That would have been awesome. Twigs. What are these used for? Making wicker? What's wicker used for? Oh, 
making baskets. It holds an inventory. Interesting. Okay. I like this. I'm going to get a bit of coal here, just some of this to smelt things up with. And then I can make a furnace. <laughs> oh, okay. Which I feel I should probably put the furnace inside. So otherwise, um, stuff is just not going to work. Um, let's put the coal that I have in there. I'll probably end up dying out here or something silly like that. But I was uh, starting to make like a little bit of a stairway to go up here. If only because the um, this is just kind of like this big flat surface outside the wall. <laughs> I wanted to have some way of getting up here very easily. Uh, I could always uh, enhance this by putting down some stairs. But first, I need the materials to do so. So as I would expect, there's of course going to be a water, <laughs> a bit of water at the top. Why not, right? Let's see if I can make enough stairs. I'm going to want uh, maybe three sets. We'll start with that. 24 stairs. That might be enough. I don't know. We'll find out. Two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Oh, that was great. <laughs> you know, when you're scrolling sideways and suddenly your stairs go uh, askew. And that gets me. Oh, whoops. Low overhead. There we go. That's better. And then, of course, I've got some different options to get up here. But at least now I have a little bit of a way of getting up here. Uh, yeah, those death points. Let's clear those out, shall we? Look at this. Look at this. The different biomes we have nearby. It's absolutely wonderful. The different colors and options. But I'm going to remove both of these <laughs> for now. Then I'm going to take this. Actually, let's make a better hatchet already. Because I don't like the wooden one. It's just not worthwhile. And of course, uh, I'm going to make myself shovel. And I don't think I need anything else at the moment, but I will take it with me. And I will, of course, use the wooden one. There we go. Cool. Much better. So there's so much more to explore out there. I hope you guys have uh, at least some interest in some of these packs because I had an interest in all three of these packs. If you guys are interested in uh, Zookeeper, be sure to let me know in the poll that I have posted on the Mr. Put Mice YouTube channel. Uh, if you don't know where to find that, you probably need to access it with a PC or a mobile phone. Uh, any other methods might be a little problem. But I'm going to leave that poll up over the weekend. Check out the other two videos, and I'll see you guys next time.